Maharashtra's Cabinet Minister Deepak Kesarkar is joining with us uh, today. Uh, the disqualification petition of Shiv Sena and NCP was heard in Supreme Court. And Supreme Court has ruled that by 31st December, the decision of Shiv Sena's disqualification petition and by 31st January, the decision of NCP's disqualification petition has to be given by Assembly Speaker. Whatever Supreme Court says, that is final. Nobody could challenge it. At the same time, I would like, humbly like to submit that there is a provision in the constitution for personal hearing. That is 10 schedule 3C. If that is followed by the um, president, uh, the chairperson of uh, assembly, that is good enough for us. We should be personally heard and the appropriate decision should be given by them. If there is any further difficulty into giving uh, personal hearing, then that should be brought to the notice of Honorable High uh, Supreme Court. And I think there the definitely there will be some relief because it's a constitutional provision. Assembly Speaker has already filed an affidavit saying that time till 29th of February should be given, but court has not ruled in favor of that. Uh, in fact, uh, Speaker is trying to tell that there will be a Diwali vacation, then there will be a winter assembly session. So we need some time. Whatever he was supposed to say, the uh, Attorney General must have told it in the Supreme Court. In spite of that, if such decision has come, it is only for the Supreme Court who could reconsider it. That's why the process should go on. And if any difficulties are there, then that should be brought to the notice of the Honorable Supreme Court. And there the relief could be granted because there is a constitutional provision of doing personal hearing. So being the spokesperson of Shiv Sena Party, do you think that uh, the fair amount of time is given to you to be heard? No, I, I will not uh, be able to give any comment on this because then it would amount to be a comment against Supreme Court. So whatever our rights are there as per constitution, those rights are there. And in first place, the chairperson of the assembly will have to upheld that. And in case he finds any difficulty, then he should re-approach the Supreme Court. That, that is open to him. But the process should start. The process of giving personal hearing should start. And that is the constitutional provision. So I think that he should first start that. And then if he faces any difficulty in giving the decision within time, he should re-approach the Supreme Court. That is the only way out. That is what I feel. Sir, thank you, sir, for talking to us. So this was the Pakesarkar who was clarifying that uh, individual hearing should be given a chance. But as Supreme Court has already ruled their decision, now the process has to initiate. With camera person Samir Shanbag, myself, Ritwik Bhalekar for India Today.